All right, cool. Then now I want to now talk into more of like the property aspects now. Like, when did you start to get involved with property? Because that's a that's a game that most people want to touch, but they feel like, oh, I can't. Yeah. How, how did you get into like, that? So the reason why I got into the property thing was I started going to uni to do electronic engineering only the hnc so not the full degree so oh, okay when i was there i started a vending machine business yeah yeah yeah. yeah. so i started a vending machine well, business. what made you make do that that's different by the way i'm an opportunist yeah i respect it all right so i'm in college and it's, it's just a little campus it's um it's called um the london well, it was called the london college it's moved now yeah I think it might have changed name but it used to be in notting hill it was just a tiny little campus no canteen damn, nothing damn. it was just a big kind of like like sort of this building here but they converted the, the rooms into classrooms and that. Okay. No vending machine. Damn. And when we used to have to go out to Notting Hill, uh, Notting Hill Gate, obviously prices is extortion. Mm, like, of course. You go to Tesco's and grab yourself a meal deal as a, as a, as a deal and that. But um, I just thought, I don't know, I was sitting down, you know, you get them free periods during uni. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Study time, whatever, and two hours of sitting in the, in the library and I just think to myself, we need a, we need a vending machine. Some opportunist. Yeah. We need a vending machine. So I'm like, let me check how much a vending machine is. <laughs> went on Gumtree, I see like five grand and that, I see two grand, I see a grand and that. I went on and asked the manager and he said, yeah, 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 cut the long story short, went back to him again, he said no. Then I went and begged him and said, look man, let me just, yeah, and he said, all right then, cool. Yeah. So got a vending machine in the, the uni yeah. and then put a vending machine in uh, a community centre in Islington. Oh, okay. So I'm doing that make a little bit of money not no i can't leave my job yeah of course make yeah. a little bit of money on the side that's your income though yeah 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 that's make a little bit it. of money on the side and then i thought you know what yeah let me go self-employed and that but before i went self-employed what i wanted to do is buy a property mm. so that's why i decided to buy a property so in all 16 of november i went yeah. up to northampton yeah and looked to buy a property there the reason why i went there is because obviously London prices are crazy. Yeah. We're, we're, are crazy, we're crazy, I'm going to still be crazy. Be crazy. Uh, so I yeah. could have bought um, a, um, a property in Milton Keynes because I don't want to go too far up. Yeah. Here, but I couldn't buy a house in Milton Keynes. For 140, which was my budget, not in cash, but that's how much I could borrow. Yeah. If I was going to buy a property that was worth 140, yeah. um, it would be a flat and I didn't want to buy a flat, I wanted to buy a house. I had to oh, go okay. further up north. Oh, I think okay. my friend Benga, he was the one that showed me about Northampton in the first place because he already bought a property oh, okay. years and years ago when he was in uni. Damn. He'd been on it. I trust me, I've got a man around me that's really on it. And yeah, I just bought the property that was Damn, in 070. So completed in 070. 